Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I am Sumaya Abubakar. The news in brief. The central bank governor, Godwin Emefiele, is before the ad hoc committee of the House of Representatives, which is investigating the scarcity of the new Nara note. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajamia Mila, had on Thursday stated that he will not hesitate to ask the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, to issue an arrest warrant on Godwin Emefiele to compel the central bank chief to appear before the House. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed the death of 37 persons from Lassa fever in the first three weeks of 2023. In its Lassa fever situation report published on Tuesday, the center noted that the number of deaths represents 15.1% of the 244 confirmed cases in 16 states across 50 local government areas. According to NCDC, for three weeks, you know, 18 deaths 13.1% were recorded out of 137 confirmed cases in 37 local government areas of 14 states. A rescue and recovery operation has ended in Pakistan after a suicide bombing at a mosque in the northwestern city of Peshawar killed at least 95 people, most of them police officials. Kashif Aftab Abbasi, senior superintendent of police operations in Peshawar, said that more than 225 people were also injured in the blast a day earlier. And lastly, Bayern Munich has signed fullback Joao Cancelo on an initial loan deal from Manchester City for the rest of the season with an option to buy the Portugal international. Cancelo made 16 league starts for City this season but has not played for the club since their derby loss to Manchester United earlier this month, missing the last three games. He started only three of ten games after the World Cup break and lost his place to Nathan Ake, while 18-year-old Rico Luis also emerged as an option for manager Rep Guardillo this season. And that is all on Trust TV News Summary. Do not forget to follow us across all our social media platforms. I am Sumaya Abubakar. Thanks for watching.